The U.S. Marshal's Office joined forces with local law enforcement agencies to arrest the state's most violent criminals, including gang members. The Smash. investigation, called Operation Washout, led to the arrest of nearly 100 fugitives, all aimed to protect the public wow. and reduce violence. Following a four-week multi-agency investigation, the U.S. Marshal's Office announced they have nabbed dangerous criminals off the streets during this news conference. Now think about it. They've, they've picked up 100 guys. There's no talk of, and on all these are mostly no-knock warrants, right? Or <clears throat> a lot of them, right? And even if they're not no-knock warrants, they're fucking, they're knock warrants, and they're fucking knocking down doors. That's 100 different people no one in the city knew anything about this until they made the announcement. They work stealthily. They work in the cover of night. They go to the place they go to. They have their, they have their protocols, their operations, their little measures, their tactics. They in and out. Boom. If you're fucking, if you're fucking not looking out your window, they might second get your fucking neighbor and you wouldn't even know it. And in and out and be gone before you fucking even realize what happened. These people are, should be commended a hundred fucking times in the last fucking couple of weeks. They fucking nabbed fucking seven in this one city. Violent, dangerous guys got them off the street, and no one fucking would know if they didn't make this press conference. Hey, Ah, you know what? That was a very, very common thing in the late 80s and early 90s. When the crime bill was hit, that was a common thing where 150, 200 people would get nabbed in one day. I'm telling you. Yeah, they talk about the slave catchers. But well, listen, man, you should be thankful for the slave catchers, man. Mm. Yo, I, the liberals tell me that incarceration is not the solution. Well, she, she, listen, man, they snatched all these dudes up. And no Brianna situations, no, none of these guys shot a cop. Right. None of the cops shot any of them. That, remember we heard that they needed to get rid of that. They need to stop doing that. Because one fucking bitch got shot when her mm. boyfriend shot the cop first. Right. If you don't shoot the cops. These things have a 99.999999 success ratio. Right. And I this arguably this operation arguably saved somebody's life for the time being. Oh yeah. Probably. A lot of lives. The investigation. A lot the of US lives. Marshal's office announced they have nabbed dangerous criminals off the streets during this news conference. But this press conference here today is about when you do something wrong, you will be held accountable. A major statewide sweep of 95 fugitives, including gang members, stopped in their tracks through an operation dubbed Washout. Same. I know we have a long way to go. Uh, the murder rate in Baltimore in particular is unacceptable, but we have made significant strides this year. U.S. Attorney Eric Barron explaining how the U.S. Marshal Service used a network of task force to arrest individuals wanted for the most serious crimes. The U.S. Marshal Service and our federal, state, and local partners will find you and you will be held accountable. Operation Washout began on May 1st and ended on May 26th, an initiative Police Commissioner Michael Harrison says makes communities safer. As a result of this operation, the following arrests were made, among others, 17 homicide arrests, 16 attempted murder arrests, 19 robbery arrests, and 19 first-degree assault arrests. The Yo, that made the neighborhood very much safe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> All those yeah, guys. They're doing they, the Lord's work. They're taking off the street like poof. It's like, it's just like. You don't have to, it's not no big deal. It's no police chase down the street. It's no fucking guy running through alleys with a bunch of cops chasing them. There's no fucking highway with the helicopter. It's just doop, snatch them up, throw them in the car, off. If you're the fucking on the block, if everybody, if they do it at fucking five in the morning, no one even knows. Like, it's just it's 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 clean the, it works every time nothing ever goes wrong 
Hey, ah, <laughs> it's gonna be quiet for a little while, but I'm telling you, when all these new niggas go to pick up the swords that all those niggas dropped, oh yeah, there's gonna be chaos in in Baltimore. Oh, without a doubt, without chaos. a doubt. But this this right here is good though. I think I think it's good because. You just you you, you got to keep doing this. You got to keep doing this, and then you got to once they once the once the boys jump off the porch, you got to go get them. You just got to keep doing this and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it, and don't worry about the disparities and who's getting locked up because we know it's gonna hey. be a fucking disparity. <laughs> they did they did this in the nineties, yo. They cleaned up America in the nineties. They have got yeah. everybody, dog. Right. They they just gonna have to ignore the sisters, like. Yeah, ignore the sisters, man. Yeah, exactly. Great yeah. point, man. Others, 17 homicide arrests, 16 attempted murder arrests, 19 robbery arrests, and 19 first-degree assault arrests. The operation extending into Prince George's County. I am the newly elected sheriff of Prince George's County, John Carr, and I can say we are changing the narrative, not only here in Prince George's County, but throughout the state of Maryland. Steering clear of details about the investigative tools used, Commissioner Harrison says the success of Operation Washout makes our community a little safer. We have taken a number of violent repeat offenders off of Look at this shit. So the police chief of Baltimore is a black guy. Sheriff of Prince George's County is a black guy. The head of the U.S. Marshals a black guy. <laughs> I mean, and they've sold gliders that Policing in this country is inherently and nakedly racist. Right. It's core. But I, me and you both know that every last one of those brothers would say that it is. They say, oh, it's super racist. Brother, you a boss in this joint. Relax. Enjoy it. All of every high position is held by a brother. Of tools used, Commissioner Harrison says the success of Operation Washout makes our community a little safer. We have taken a number of violent repeat offenders off of the street of Baltimore City. While the operation is over, investigators say they are still busy at work trying to close in on other 